ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'm Silver! almost sundown when the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached Sun Canyon on their way to Kingsville. As they urged their mounts along the hard-packed trail, they were startled by the sharp and echoing crack of a rifle shot. Oh, Silver, oh, 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 easy. Oh, fella. Oh. What direction did that shot come from, Tonto? Could you tell? Ah, uh, thick brush over by river. Yes, I think you're right. It may have been. No, listen. Somebody ride plenty fast. We trail them? No, not yet. First thing we'll do is Look, a horse with an empty saddle breaking through that brush. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, oh, oh. oh Scout. Oh, fella. <laughs> Steady, big fella. It's a buckskin mare, Tonto. I've seen her someplace before. Uh-huh. I think it was... Uh, oh. Hear that? Somebody on the other side of this brush. Come on. Uh, there, man. Uh, Looked like him hurt bad. Uh, yes, it's... Uh, now I know who that mare belongs to. Tom Classen. And this is Tom. Easy now. I'll help you, fella. Hello. Who shot you, Tom? I was probably ghost. Don't know for sure who did it. I... Easy, easy, Tom. You've got a nasty wound in your side in here. Huh? Yeah. And I know what it means. Give me your handkerchief, Toto. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I'll make a bandage for that. No. Not enough time. Got to tell you. What is it, that... Tom? Uh, funny thing. You finding me. I was on my way to find you. I got a letter from Milo Brent three days ago. Todd and I were heading for Kingsville. Milo sent me to meet you. I'm his <coughs> deputy. Is Sheriff Brent in trouble? Plenty. The whole town's in trouble. Well, where's the sheriff now? Flat on his back. More Jared's boarding house. They they got him first. Does he know who did it? The sheriff's up against a gang of killers. I can't understand why he sent you out of Go town to... Go to him. Get there some way. He'll explain. You see, my little Brent's not sheriff of Kingsville anymore, and I, 
I, I'm not really as dead as Easy, easy, Tom. I, I'm glad I found you before they took my star away. It's, it's pinned right here, under my vest. You, you, you take it. Yes, I'll take care of your star, Tom. Thanks. At least I'm leaving the real law in good hands. He's dead, Tonto. Ah. It's murder. I'm going to find out who did it. It's the last thing I ever do. Ah. You bring Tom's body into town, Toto. I'm going on ahead. Yes, Silver. Why him say Lawman Brent not sheriff anymore? I don't know, Toto. That's why I'm heading straight for Maud Jarrett's boarding house. Steady, big fella. You follow as soon as you can. Ah. Come on, Silver. Jarrett. You heard me. I've come to see Sheriff Brent, and I'd like... Mast. Huh. If you think that's going to fool me, Kruger, you better have another look. My name's not Kruger, and I want to see Sheriff Brent. Where is he? Upstairs, sick. Too sick to palaver with any free boot now. Uh, over. He sent for me. Please take me to him. No. Nope. Ain't letting any strangers bother Milo when he's... Uh, stop it into all those stairs and put up your hands. Very well. Now, why don't you turn me over to the sheriff? At least ask his advice. Oh, that ain't such a bad idea. Keep reaching and march upstairs. Remember, I'm right behind you with a double-barreled shotgun. Good. March. Very well. That door on the right. Ain't locked. Open it. All right. Hello, you? Sheriff. This masked barman pushed his way into the house. Like as not, he's one of Kruger's men. No, but... no, Ma. He's a friend of mine. I wrote him a letter asking him to come and see me. May I put my hands down now? Sure, sure. Ma made a mistake, that's all. <laughs> How about it, Mrs. Jarrett? I, I'm still under your gun sights. Well, I guess it's all right if the sheriff vouches for you. Thanks. But keep on watching that front door, Ma. No telling when Kruger will try another shenanigan. Don't worry. Nobody else will get by me. Come on over here by the bed. Sure. Can't move around much. I... So, Tom met you on your way into town. Yes, Tom met us, or rather, Tonto and I met him. I recognized his buckskin mare. Yep, he's still riding. And I promised him I'd bring this directly to you. What? The... Well, that's his deputy star. Tom's badge. Why did he... Tom... Tom Classen is dead, Sheriff. No. Shot. Ambushed about 30 minutes ago on the Sun Canyon Trail. Oh, how did you... Tom and I heard the shot, but we didn't see the killers. Tom was pretty far gone when we reached him. So they got Tom. Must have figured he was going for help, or they wouldn't have... Who... Who are they? Steve Kruger, Case Martin, or any of that parcel of gunslingers they've got working for them. Tom tried to tell me something about it, but... Oh, uh, who's Kruger? A uh, lawyer here in town. Man, a loan shark. Most every rancher in the valley owes him money. Case Martin's a gambler at the Bull's Head Saloon. And you're sure they're responsible for Tom's murder? Just as sure as I am that they're the ones who threw this load of buckshot into my back. Well, why not order one of your deputies to arrest them? I can't. I'm not the sheriff of Kingsville anymore. Oh, who is? Steve Kruger. But I don't understand. Neither did I when I wrote you that letter, first of the week. Now it's too late. But tell me about it. Well, yesterday afternoon, that loud talking Kruger comes stomping into my office. I want to see you, Sheriff. You ain't blind, and I'm sitting right here. Hey, man, got a job for you. Due process of the law. 
Order from the court. Uh, talk sense. What is it you want? Uh, just a routine matter. Part of your official duty. Here. Uh, ain't I put on my specs? Let's see. Why, well, this is an eviction notice. Order for Bill Whitehead to vacate his ranch. That's right. Whitehead hasn't paid the loan I made him last year. Hasn't I'm paid. foreclosing. Hasn't paid, you say? How could he? The dry spell parched all his grain. I'm last. not responsible for the weather. No, no. But you sure take advantage of it. I won't serve this paper. I'm too busy. Send one of your deputies. Tom Classen's the only man I've got. He's busy, too. Well, you can't tank or assault. What's that? Uh, <laughs> nothing, Sheriff. Come to think of it, maybe I've been a little hasty in this matter. Naturally, if both you and your deputies are busy, I can't expect you to... Hey, I have a suggestion. Yeah? Strictly within my legal rights, and you can avoid an uh, unpleasant situation. Uh, deputize me, and I'll serve my own eviction notice. Uh, that's the kind of a job you are fit for, Kruger. Stealing everything Bill Whitehead's worked to build for the last ten years. I demand that this notice be served now. It's the law. All right, Skin Flint, you can do it yourself. Here's a badge. You're a deputy sheriff. Just long enough to do your dirty work. Thanks, Sheriff. That's where you made your biggest mistake. I found it out. According to law, if an elected sheriff is unable to perform his duties for any reason, any legally sworn deputy may assume the office of sheriff. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Kruger never showed up after he came back from Whitehead's place. And last night, just as I was closing the office... There he is. Yeah. Who is it? I can't see. Oh! 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 Somebody go for a doctor. What happened, Steve? Did you see it? Milo Brent's been shot. I'll take charge of everything now. In the name of the law. What do you mean by that? I was deputized this afternoon. Here's my star. I'll take over the sheriff's job until we find out how bad Brent is hurt. Well, I'll be going. And to prevent any more accidents like this, I'm making a new law in Kingsville. What is it? From now on, there'll be no more guns worn in this town. I'll give all of you until tomorrow morning to turn him in here at my office. <laughs> Heard of some nervy schemes, but never one that could equal this. Kruger's got the town under his thumb. And the worst part is, I guess it's legal. You're lucky to be alive, Sheriff. Not much I can do flat on my back here. Yes, there is. W what? Swear me in to act in your place. Swear you... Uh, what about Kruger? The law doesn't limit the number of your deputies. But suppose that sidewinder... Let, uh, let me worry about that. Yeah, I wear the star that belonged to Tom Classen. Uh, sure. Sure you can. Lean over here. I'll pin it on you. Yeah. There. Now, raise your right hand. All right, Sheriff. You solemnly swear to uphold and enforce the laws of King County in the town of Kingsville? I do. Then I deputize you to serve as an officer of the law. Thanks. Now what? First, I'm going to discover the reason... There's a big ruckus going on down the street right in front of the jail. Who is it? Can't tell from here, and I don't want to leave the place. Looks like there's a commotion about an engine right in a paint hole. Otto, I'll see you later, Sheriff. <laughs> now, what's that tied on the saddle of that buckskin mare? I don't know. Looks like... Here! Yeah. It's Tom Classen. Uh, first Milo Brent, and now Tom and I... Let's get bushwhacker, huh? Get the dirt engine, you're under arrest for murder. No. Me not kill, young fella. Me find him on trail. Lion won't help. I said you're under arrest. Get off that horse and hand over your shooting lions. Nobody but the law carries guns in this town. No, Tom will not do it. Why, you sneaking red devil, I'll... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Man, get out, I'll do it, huh? Case. Yes, Hold on, I both these long riders. Keep them under your gun sight. Don't worry. I'll bless the first one that makes a move. And if you walk one step closer to that Indian, you'll wish your gun had never cleared leather. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger's quiet warning caused Steve Kruger and Case Martin to hesitate. Then the renegade lawyer realized that his reputation as a sheriff hung in the balance. He decided to bluff it out. That redskin pawn of yours killed Tom Classen, a deputy sheriff. He's under arrest. He didn't kill Classen, and you know it. He didn't cover Case. I'll get the engine's guns first. Right. Remember, I warned you. No, I'm going to... No, you don't... Did you see that? Shot the gun right out of Steve's hand. Oh, you dirty coyote! Oh, he drove Case Martin in the arm. I know. I think someone here in the crowd will be good enough to look after Tom Classen's body. Ah, we've got work to do. Come on, Silver. Get him up. What's the matter with you, lunkhead? Those men are outlaws. Gun them down. You'll forget something, ain't you, Kruger? Yeah, the murdering owl who got in a lucky shot. Increase my arm. Now, what's the matter with all of you? Well, how could we do any shooting? You and Case Martin have got the only two guns in town, and they're laying right there on the ground. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode from town at a fast pace, knowing that they need not fear pursuit, since none of the townsmen had guns. After riding toward the hills for a short time, the Lone Ranger led the way so that the two men circled back toward the town they'd just left. Suddenly, he called a halt. Oh, who's oh, who's oh, oh, fella? Oh, oh, fella. Why we stopped so close to town, Kim? Because Sunday? I'm going back, Tonto. Steady, big fella. But first, I want you to help me with a disguise. Uh, me help. I may have to use this deputy's badge I'm wearing. There'd be less trouble without the mask. Uh, me wait here? Just long enough to make sure no one leaves Kingsville before I get there. I'll circle and come in from the south. Ah. If you should spot anyone, trail them. But regardless of what happens, meet me in front of Maud Jarrett's boarding house in about two hours. Ah. You ready now? Put on disguise? Yes, and let's get it done as quick as we can. <laughs> Less than an hour later, Tonto, waiting patiently beside the main trail to Kingsville, heard the echo of approaching hoofbeats. Following the Lone Ranger's instructions, it was only a few seconds before he was in the saddle and on the trail. Get him up, scout! Trailing a horseman and keeping the fact a secret was not a new experience for Tonto. It was an art in which he excelled. The unknown rider reined his horse to a halt beside sandstone cliffs overlooking a dry riverbed. Then he cut through thick underbrush until he reached the mouth of a small cave. And all the while, he was followed closely by an Indian who moved with the soundless silence of a shadow. Fred, Lefty. Over here. Where have you been, Steve? Me and Red don't cotton much to the idea of waiting until you get good and ready to... I stopped beefing. Had some trouble in town. I got here as soon as I could. How about that deal for the payload coming in on the stage? Is it all set? Yeah. But don't hold it up out here. Follow the stage into town and wait till after the gold's delivered to the bank. You mean you want the bank to sign for it first? That's right. Ain't you getting kind of choosy? What difference does it make who we hold up? Plenty. Gold on the coach is in the hands of Wells Fargo. They're tough to monkey with. Banks are tough, too. Not this one. You won't have any trouble. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I ought to know. I'm the sheriff of Kingsville. Yeah, but Red and me are doing the job. You know, how can you miss? There isn't a loose gun in the whole town. Case and I corralled every one of them. Case? What's Case Martin got to do with it? I made him my deputy. <laughs> Two high binders robbing the law in Kingsville. <laughs> How'd you ever put that one over? And never mind, we did it. Now you two hombres do your part. All right, Sheriff. We understand. <laughs> Yeah.
In the meantime, the Lone Ranger, disguised as an ordinary cowpuncher, walked into the Bull's Head Cafe. Well, what you drinking, cowboy? Nothing. I, I'm looking for Case Martin. Yeah? Is Case looking for you? Maybe. I didn't catch your name. What is it? I, I didn't mention it. Where's Martin? Listen, Case Martin don't see just any army. He'll can... see me or... Hey, put that cutter away. Don't you know it's against the law to pack a gun in this town? And it's probably against the law to shoot bartenders, but I'll oh, Wait do a minute. It. I... I'll, uh... Well, follow me. Sure. Case, I... Uh... How many times have I told All you... All right, bartender, I'll handle this. Listen, cowpoke, you can't come Sit in down. here. Sit down. in here with a gun. I'm a deputy sheriff. You're under arrest. No, you're wrong, Martin. I'm the one who's making the arrest. You're loco. See this badge? It says Deputy Sheriff, King County. Milo Brent gave it to me this afternoon. Brent's not sheriff. Steve Kruger's a law here. That's what he thinks. And suppose you are a tin star deputy. My badge means just as much as yours. Even more, because the law's on my side. I want to know why you and Steve Kruger shot Sheriff Brent, killed Tom Classen. Why, you nosy cowpoke! I better not go for that gun. I can shoot first, and I will. All right. You got a cold drop. What do you want? First? Where's Steve Kruger? How do I know? You're so smart, you ought to know the answer. He's all set and left in red. And what's this? Oh, yes, we, we've been waiting for you, Kruger. Hey, so who is this? Some local cowpuncher walked in, pulled a gun. Thanks. And... Thanks for reminding me. Ah, just lay your guns on the table, both of you. Listen, I won't I play... said lay them on the table. Good. Now the three of us are going for a walk. Push that gun so close Knock to me. Knock on the door. Well, this is my Jarrett's boarding house. That old lady's a maniac. She might do... Knock. What the tarnation? Kruger, you low down... It's all right, Mrs. Jarrett. Neither of these men is armed. They won't cause any trouble. Who are you? They want to turn their law badges back to Sheriff Brent. Say, your voice is kind of familiar. Haven't I Who seen... Who I am it? isn't important. Uh, you have a gun. Will you keep Kruger and Martin covered? Take them upstairs to the sheriff? Now you're talking sense, stranger. Uh, get moving, you scallywag. Oh, Good. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Kimosabe. Yes, Toto? Me see you bring Crook from saloon. Yes, but I still don't know Me why they... Kruger feller. Him right out of town. Go to cave by river. What's that? You mean before I saw him at the bull's head? Ah, hear him make talk to two other crook. Call him Red Lefty. Red and Lefty? Kruger mentioned those names when he hear came him and... say, follow stage, hold a bank after stage, bring gold. So that's the reason for taking over the law in Kingsville, to cover a bank robbery. Ah. When, Tonto, do you know? Plenty soon. Stage come in tonight. There's no time to lose. Come on. Uh, where are Silver and Scout? Me leave him. Other side of trees. Let's hurry. <laughs> Hey, the stage driver left this strong box sitting here on the walk. A couple of you gents help me carry it into the bank? Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. We're saving the trouble. We're taking that box, boys. Great. All of you. Hold up. Not a gun in the whole crowd. Where's the sheriff? Yeah, where's the sheriff? Shut up. Come on, Red. Keep these yokels covered while I shoot the lock off this thing. Yeah. Oh, Silver. Oh, my hey, hey, What the? Oh, what's that mask, oh, oh. oh. And the injured. Same ones were here this afternoon. Drop those guns. Hey, you That's let... what you think. Cut them, Red. Now, oh, put up your hands, both of you. Jumping, Jehoshaphat. 
Did you ever see such shooting? Say, stranger, I notice you're wearing a lawman's badge. Are you a sheriff or a marshal? No, neither one. I'm just Milo Brent's deputy, temporarily. Where are you taking these vermins? To the sheriff at Ma Jarrett's boarding house. I get moving, you two. Hey, did you hear that? He's heading for Ma Jarrett's place. Let's trail along. There they are, Sheriff. The other two parts of Kruger's plan. Well, I'll be doggone. Uh, who are they? Just two men who tried to steal a gold shipment after Kruger had made it illegal for anyone else to carry a gun in Kingsville. So that was it. Yes. And you can appoint a deputy to take them to jail. Sure. Sure I can. Say, so, Sheriff, I'd like that job if it's open. Uh, application accepted. Oh, uh, where's Kruger and Case Martin? I've got the vermin's hog tie down the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it, but Ma must have used a little uh, persuasion on those gents. I used plenty. Oh, is that right? She got them both to sign a confession in black and white. I got it right here. Uh, let me see. Uh, Case Martin admits he killed Tom Classen on orders from Kruger. Good. And my job is done. Oh, uh, here's the deputy's badge, Sheriff. It's been a privilege to wear. Privilege for you? Say, Kingsville owes you a debt it can never pay off. No, Kingsville owes me nothing. As long as the law's in honest hands, like yours. Come on, Tonto. Adios, Sheriff. I've seen a lot of things in my time, but I never saw an outlaw wearing a law badge before. Who is he, Milo? A real lawman. With or without a badge. He's the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated.